Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, teacher, how are you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, give me a second, Ivan, that I don't hear you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening, good evening. Now I can hear you. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes. Okay. We will do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Me dicen dónde suena mejor, ¿ok? Este es un micrófono. Uh... What about this one? ¿Qué hay con este? ¿Se escucha mejor o igual? Está mejor. Se escucha mejor. Se escucha mejor. Okay, mejor. perfect. This is the one we are going to use then. Okay, hello, good evening. My name is Douglas Arevalo. Mi nombre es Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher. Voy a hacer su docente. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Un gusto para mí el estar con ustedes. I am also, uh, I am so sorry that your previous teacher couldn't continue. También lamento que su maestro anterior no pudo continuar. But uh, we are here to help. Estamos aquí para ayudar en, and to see how's everything. Now, tengo unas pequeñas preguntas que les voy a hacer. Eh, más que todo es con respecto al módulo. Ustedes están ahorita iniciando la... Están ya en la sección 3, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Oh. Ok, estábamos en la sección 3, me dijeron, uh, déjenme revisar porque estoy viendo que todo esté en orden y de acuerdo a lo que yo tengo acá, no me gustaría ponerles algo que no, pues. Just a second. Uh, 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 uh. Ok, como ustedes están trabajando en la... Ya hicieron el midterm. En ese estoy yo, pero he tenido algunos problemas. No sé si es la plataforma, pero yo estoy en la, en la section number five. Y he tenido algunos problemas con, no sé si es la plataforma, porque toda la tarde he pasado intentando. Y he tenido algunos problemas, pero me tomé captura a ver si usted me puede ayudar, porque no he, no he podido... este terminar de realizar los fines de ficha. Ya, ya. Y en lo que respecta al manual, ¿en qué, eh, qué fue lo último que cubrieron? Eh, al día de ayer, lo que vimos fue... Lo que vimos fue adjective comparatives. Comparatives. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, vamos a ver. That's ok, that's ok. That's just for me to get like acquainted with everything. Para que yo esté. Veamos. Uh -huh. Comparatives. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, that's nice, that's nice. I'm sorry again. I don't know. Luis Eduardo, are you speaking to us? Oh, no, you're in the phone. Don't worry, don't worry. My bad. So let's see. Uh, 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 Ivan Ibrahim. Oh, nice name. Thank you, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm nice just fine, just you. fine. Nice meeting you too. So we're going to start today with a little get uh, get to know each other. So can, what can you tell me about yourself, mister? Cuénteme um, un poquito, sir. Please. I'm I'm a teacher of computer. Oh, really? I am, see, yeah, yeah. And sport, several sports. And my CD, CDI. And I'm here trying to learn very well. Okay, that's nice. And that's the attitude to get to learn more. Thank you, thank you. That's actually very, very important to get to learn more and more and more. I mean, yes, 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 I that's know. What, that's what we need to do. Get to know more as much as possible. Yes. It's not that easy, but 
no es tan fácil siempre, but we need sí, to... es un poco el miedo como que lo detiene a uno en, en la pronunciación, pero ahí lo vamos perdiendo poco a poco. Yeah, yeah, well, the most important part here is for you to, to, to practice, to learn, and to apply what you learn y aplicar lo que hemos aprendido. Right? Thank you very much, Mr. and welcome. Now let's see, uh, Amanda. Hello, Amanda, how are you? Yes, teacher, good evening. Good evening, good evening. everybody. Uh, yes, uh, I am entrepreneur. Um, uh, I try uh, learning um, uh, every day about English. Uh, um, he logrado mantenerme en los, en los cursos eh, ordenadamente según las becas disponibles y, y eh, estoy intentándolo. Ok, that's Sobre nice. Sobre el inglés. That's nice and that's actually the, the attitude, that's the attitude. I mean, to be, to be able to, to, to improve all the time. Esa es la actitud, tratar de mejorar siempre. And to keep on practicing. Ok, let's see who else is around. Vamos, ¿quién más anda por aquí? Uh, 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 uh. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Hello, good evening. How are you, mister? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. I am excited with your class. Uh, um, I am working uh, online store. I have problem when a person is speaking English. I don't get it. Um, and when the people speak with me, I am shy or nervous and they answer. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. That's normal. I mean, that's quite normal. Eso es de lo más normal. Don't worry about it. But you know what that, that with practice and having conversation and this this we do here that's what it's going to help you and something that everybody must have clear is this algo que todos tenemos que estar claro es esto and i'm sorry that i'm going to explain it in spanish perdón que lo voy a explicar en español please never be afraid of making a mistake in my class nunca tengan miedo de equivocarse en esta clase i mean if you make a mistake it's my job to help you Es mi trabajo ayudarle. As many times as you do. Si 20 veces cometió el mismo error, don't worry. That's what I'm here for. Para eso estoy acá. So I can help you. What I need you is to be clear. If something is not clear, you got to tell me. Lo que sí necesito es que me digan. No entendí. Okay. That's where I go and I try to explain again. And again, and again, and in different ways. Y de diferentes maneras. The idea is for everybody to, to participate. The idea is for everybody to learn, to improve. Okay, that's the objective, that everybody can improve as much and as fast as possible. La idea es que todos avancemos lo más que podamos. Okay. Okay, well, first of all, uh, veamos, la asistencia en qué momento se las pasaban, chicos? Eh, como 15 minutos mm -hmm. para finalizar la clase. Okay, but we are going to get it twice. Right now and at the end, okay? I'm going to be fast with this. Uh, Amanda Chamiret, Chicas de Rajo. Present teacher. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla Guzmán. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Present teachers. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carmen Lisette Santillana de Retana. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Ivan Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Here, teacher. 
Jennifer Tatiana Gutiérrez Ochoa. Thank you, Jennifer. I see Present, you. Teacher. Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present, teacher. José Alberto Enríquez Guillén. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, José. José Alexander Hernández Sorto. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karina Alejandra Aquino Marroquín. Carla Lizette Martínez Navarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Catherine Iracema Villalta Gómez. Present. Thank you. Leticia Aide Flores López. Present. Thank you. Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. <coughs> Luis Eduardo Méndez Torres. I'm here. Thank you. María Xiomara Guevara Ambrosio. Present teacher. Thank you. María Dolores García de López. Present teacher. Thank you. Hmm. Give me just a second. Carmen Iset, thank you. Carmen Iset Santillana de Retana. Yes, teacher. María Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquilla. Present. Thank you. Nelson Rodimiro Pineda Rivas. Okay, Osmin Vidai Rivera Baños. Present teacher. Thank you. Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Romeo, not here. And Sara Elisa Bellos Hernández. Present teacher. Wendy Paola López Martínez. And Cholanda de Carmen López. Present. Okay, Sholanda. Present. See. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, the rest, I will be taking it again. Yes. Yo me acabo de conectar porque me puso conectarme. Oh, Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. Sí. Thank you. Jose Alexander Hernández Sorto. Yo igual. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Yes. No sé si a mí se me escuchó cuando dije present. Jennifer Tatiana. Uh, uh, sí, sí, sí. Let me see. Yes, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Okay, guys. Now. So yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, you were checking the comparatives, right? Ayer trabajamos con el comparatives. I'm sorry, teacher. Good night. Yes, teacher. Good evening, Romeo. Welcome. Yes, I connect right now. Okay, no problem. Romeo, Thank Vladimir you. Rosales Alvarado. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, no problem. So, comparatives. Well, the comparatives are very interesting, right? Actually, you know, in English, we have different levels of comparatives. Tenemos distintos niveles de comparatives. We got uh, comparatives of equity, comparatives of inferiority, and comparatives of superlative, of superiority, okay? Tenemos comparativos de igualdad, de inferioridad, de superioridad. Mostly, we focus on the ones of superiority because those are the ones that got more rules. Nos enfocamos en esos porque son los que tienen más reglas, right? are like the most complex. Now, let's remember a little bit about the comparatives of equity, lo de igualdad. Very simple, okay? Son super, super simples. 
Let me share with you. Les comparto un momento. Okay, something else, guys. Si sienten que voy muy rápido, that I speak too fast, let me know, okay? Now, we got the comparatives of equity. Those are very simple. Okay? Why? Because look at this. Uh, today was as hot as yesterday. Okay. Now let's look at this sentence in a more calm way. What do we have here? ¿Qué tenemos acá? Okay. Now, if you look at this sentence, si nos fijamos en esta oración, we got here the adjective, right? Hot. And we have two very interesting expressions. We have as, as. Okay. In this case, we are saying tanto como. Today was as hot as yesterday. Ahora estuvo tan caliente como ayer. Quizás en nuestro Salvadorian we don't say tanto, we say tan. Okay? O igual de. That expression is this one. El como o el que, que usamos para hacer la comparación de igualdad, is this other one. So, today was as hot as yesterday. That's comparative of Equity. Ese es de igualdad. Cualquier adjetivo que colocamos entre estos dos está expresando igualdad. ¿Questions? ¿Preguntas? It's clear, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, we have this other section. Today was less hot than yesterday okay in this case guys in este caso it's a little bit different i'll tell you why acá será un poquito distinto les cuento por qué okay what do we have here ¿Qué tenemos acá this expression less than expresa, ahora fue menos cálido que ayer. ¿Ok? Inferiority. You see? This one is inferiority. Esta es de inferioridad. Menos que. Menos. Now, something very interesting, algo muy interesante, and something that we must always remember is this. Es esto. Then. ¿Ok? Then. This is very important for you to remember. Esto quiere decir que. But when we are making comparisons, okay? Cuando hacemos comparaciones. Just then. Quiere decir que, pero en una comparación. And then, oh, questions here? Preguntas acá? No, teacher is clear. No, teacher. No, okay. teacher is clear. Excellent, excellent. Wow, you're a very nice group. Then, we have the comparatives of superiority. Now, Comparatives of superiority follow a certain type of rules. Esto sigue en una serie de reglas. The first rule is very simple. ER. Okay? La primera regla es aquellos adjetivos que nosotros le agregamos ER to make the comparison. How so? ¿Cómo así? Como por ejemplo, warm becomes... I'm sorry. Warm becomes warmer. Right? Uh, let's see. Late becomes later. Smart becomes smarter. Right? Now, we have those, the other ones that need the word more. Sorry, my bad. 
We have the ones that need the word more. Okay. What are those? Okay. ¿Cuáles son esos? Those are long adjectives, los que son más largos, like intelligent, more intelligent. Okay. Questions up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? No, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. I have okay. a question, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, yes. Eh, eh, ¿Cuándo vamos a usar eh, la terminación y y ar? Ok. Si el adjetivo es corto, si el sonido que hacemos con el adjetivo es corto es er. Si termina en E, solamente le agregamos la R. ¿Ok? Si el adjetivo okay, es largo, teacher. más de dos sílabas, le ponemos more. ¿Ok? Like. Ok, teacher. Beautiful. Look at beautiful. More. Beautiful. Right? Now, what about, uh, we got the ones that end in Y. Tenemos aquellos que terminan en Y. Ok. What do we do with them? ¿Qué hacemos con ellos? Ok. Look at crazy. In the case dar an adjective. En el caso que un adjetivo termine en Y mm. y antes de la Y, we got a consonant. Tenemos una consonante. Look. Crazy. Questions up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? No. Ok, check them out, check them out, revisemos, revisemos, si hay una duda, this is the most appropriate moment, so I can help you guys, así les ayudo. Ok, now. Para mí es clear, teacher. I'm sorry? Para mí es clear, teacher. Ok, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, let's see. Veamos. Now, this is something very interesting when we talk about this point in grammar. Este punto gramatical es muy interesante because it helps us express in, in a better way. Nos ayuda a expresarnos de una mejor manera. Okay? Now, eh... Let's see, how can I explain this better, 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 better? Okay. Oh, we have, look, funny. Funny art, okay. Now, something else that you need to remember is this, that there are some that are like special adjectives. Hay excepciones, okay? There are exceptions to the rules. Hay excepciones a la regla. And we need to be aware of that. Tenemos que estar conscientes de ellos. The exceptions are, are very simple and they are actually very specific. Very specific uh, adjectives like look. We got big, bigger, right? Now we got. This is a special look, good. 
everybody knows what it's good in Spanish, right? Todos conocemos lo que es good. Yes, better. Bueno. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. right? What's the comparative of good? ¿Cuál es el comparativo? Better. 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 And that's exactly correct. Why? Because good is bueno, better is mejor, right? The same happens with bad. That we got bad, what's the comparative? Worse. Worse. Excellent. And then we need to remember something else. The same as with the comparatives of inferiority in the comparatives of superiority. Okay. Uh, my headache is worse than yesterday. Again, we need we need the word then. This special word is very important because we are making a comparison. And remember, this is okay when we are making comparisons. Questions here? No, right? No questions. We are okay there. Vamos bien hasta ahí. Yes, okay. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, let me see. I just need to do a little something here. Now, where is it? Okay, I just send you uh, the screenshot of what I was explaining there. Let's send a screenshot. And let's see, we need to go check a little bit of the platform. Vamos a revisar un poquito en la plataforma. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, yeah, sure, tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me, tell me, dígame. Este, ¿cuándo es que le vamos a agregar EST? Oh, that's the superlative. Ah, ok. Hold on, hold on, tranquila, tranquila, ya vamos a llegar, ya vamos a llegar. Ok. Wow, you go fast. Vamos corriendo. Don't worry, it's ok, it's ok. But I need to check out something. Voy a necesitar su ayudita acá. Eh, let's see. Okay. Everybody can see my screen, right? Top of mi, mi, mi. Yes, mi yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, During teacher. the classes, yes. were you checking the videos? Durante la clase íbamos revisando los videos acá presentados? No. Okay. Because for starting tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, comenzando mañana, si no me equivoco. Hello. Yes, teacher. No. Videos, así. Ok. Con el profesor anterior, este, no trabajábamos la plataforma, sino que trabajábamos el manual y unas cositas que él nos enviaba, pero el... el... Okay. No problem, no problem. Because actually the idea is for us to work. Well, vamos a tratar de ir trabajando ambas cosas. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay. Yes, it's Excellent. Right. Excellent. We're going to try to be working both things. That's why I'm trying to, 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 to go a little bit fast. Voy tratando de ir un poquito rápido, así que vamos a tratar de cubrir ambas cosas. So everything, everything is clear for you. Así todo nos queda claro, okay? Yes. Okay. Somebody was asking me about the biggest and the best. Now, something that you need to remember is that we have comparisons of superiority, but we have a superlative. This is the superlative. This is what we are going to see right now. This is a very short video. We are going to watch it, okay? Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, 
desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay. There we have the the There we have the vocabulary, right? But now let's look Hi guys, in the conversation the we're about to listen to, the speakers use compatible adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. I think if I'm not mistaken, this was yesterday's, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Yesterday, you covered this conversation yesterday, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are okay. We are okay. Remember, as I told you at the beginning, today we are going to review a little bit. Okay. And here are the rules. Hello and welcome back. Remember, there are different types of adjectives. That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo? Mexico City or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Okay, I will make a pause here. Vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa. Remember, we have the adjective. We have the comparative. You see? And then we have the superlative. Now, how do we, how do I make to remember which is superlative? ¿Cómo le hago para recordar cuál es el superlativo? Do you remember that when I was explaining to you the comparative, se recuerdan que cuando les explicaba el comparativo, les decía que cuando comparamos, we add the word then at the end, right? With superlative, before the adjective, we always have the particle the, okay? The longest, the driest, the biggest, the most famous, the most beautiful, the best, the worst. Okay, something that we need to remember is this. Oh my gosh, what happened to my camera? I'm sorry. Something that we need to remember is this. We have the adjective. We have the comparative of superiority. Okay, and we have the superlative. That's the top. Nothing more than that. No hay nada más que eso. Okay? We have the adjective, the regular adjective, like, like, uh, it's late. Es tarde. Later. Más tarde. The latest. Lo más tarde. As simple as that. Those are the levels. Esos son los niveles. Nothing else. Okay? So, the rules. Actually, the rules... When to add EST are the same as when we were making comparisons with superiority. Las reglas son las mismas. 
If it's short, small, smallest. If it's big, if it's long, si es largo. Intelligent, the most intelligent. Okay? The adjective, intelligent. Comparative of superiority, more intelligent. Superlative, the most intelligent. Okay? Questions? Preguntas? No? Okay, let's continue. No Vamos bien hasta acá? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, Thank you, guys. Let's continue then. Adjective. Comparative. Superlative. Long. Longer. The longest. Dry. Drier. The driest. Big. Bigger. The biggest. Famous. More famous. The most famous. Beautiful. More beautiful. The most beautiful. Good. Better. The best. Bad. Worse. The worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Okay, very interesting. Look. We use then after the comparative form of the adjective. John is taller than Mary. A Ferrari is more expensive than a Fiat. Short adjective plus ER, okay? So you see the final consonant is double when we got a, a very short that ends in consonant, vowel consonant. Cuando tenemos uno chiquitito que termina en consonante, vocal consonante, the final consonant is double. Big, bigger. Short adjective ended in Y. Un adjetivo corto que termina en Y. We change the Y for I, E, R. Okay? Funny, funnier. Long adjective. We got more plus the long adjective. And we got the irregular adjectives better and worse. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Her house is okay. bigger than her house. Let me go back here. Questions about the vocabulary here? Teacher? Um... Yes? In the second, his room is tidier. What is tidier? Tidier, tidier clean and orderly. Limpio y ordenado. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and remember the structure. You got a noun and a noun. We are comparing two nouns. Room and room. Red car, the blue one. Okay, so you see it's comparing two different things. House. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives. Okay, look, we have short, we have long, and irregular. It's the same order, just that instead of ER, we add EST. All the oldest, young, the youngest. 
The final consonant is double when it's short. Big, the biggest. Hot, the hottest. Short adjective ended in Y. Look easy, the easiest. Look here, we erase that. Heavy, the heaviest. With the long adjectives, before the adjective, we place the most. The most exciting, the most beautiful. And we have the regular, right? The best, the worst. Questions? No, for me to... no question. Perfect. Which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, look, you can add two sentences here. Pueden agregar ustedes sus oraciones acá. Using good or bad in superlative form, okay? If you add your sentences here, I will be checking. Si ustedes agregan acá, I will be checking. You just need to add a pause, okay? You put uh, superlative and then you write here your sentence and then submit and I will check it later, okay? I will check it. Uh, you can do it on your own time and I can check it later. Okay, guys. Now, questions about what we have just checked. Preguntas con lo que hemos revisado. No, we cool. Wow. Yeah. No question. No question. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, let me just check on something. Okay. That means that, eso quiere decir que yesterday you were working with this, right? Ayer trabajaron esto. Right? Eso lo vimos, creo que. No, teacher. No. I'm sorry? The letter A, no. Only practice. Uh, the rules. Only practice grammar focus. Okay, just the grammar focus. Only that. The exercise, you haven't done them yet. Okay, now. No, yet. Now, 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 now. The exercise is very simple. Which country is? What would it be? We got the adjective small. Monaco small. or the body consider. So the adjective smaller. must be? Smaller. Smaller, right? Smaller. Which waterfall is? But let's do it better. Hagamos lo mejor. Okay, let's see. Which country is? Smaller. Smaller. Like this, right? Smaller. Next one. Which waterfall is? Higher. Higher. Perfect. Number three. Which city is? More crowded. Okay, perfect. Come on, guys. Everybody can participate. More crowded. Number four, which lake is? Larger. 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 Okay, perfect. Number five, which is? The highest. Ah. Okay, okay. From seven to eight, we need to use superlatives, right? So in this case, it says the highest. Look, from five to eight, you use superlatives. So number six, what is? The longest. The longest, perfect. What is the longest? Number seven? 
more expensive. More expensive. Which is the most, the most expensive. expensive. And number eight. In number eight, we got the deepest, right? So the sentences go like this. I will pronounce for you. Let's pronounce you. Which country is smaller, Monaco or Vatican City? Which waterfall is higher, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Which lake is larger, the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Which is the highest, Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest or Mount Fuji? What is the longest river in the world, the Nile or the Amazon? Which city is the most expensive, Tokyo, Moscow or Hong Kong? What is the deepest ocean in the world, the Pacific or the Atlantic? Questions about the exercise? No? Okay. No teacher. Perfect. Now we are going to check tomorrow the stress and we are going to work with this. Okay. So if it's possible for you, check out this exercise so we can advance tomorrow. But before that, now, a little bit of conversation. I almost have a little bit of conversation because I guess everybody wants to speak, right? Uh, in the classes, as I know, this just one hour, como sé que es una hora, I will try it, uh, every class to, to have short conversation with as many of you as possible, okay? And in which we are going to apply a little bit of what we have been practicing. So let's see, let's see. Karen Elizabeth. I see Karen like she's fanning herself. Tell me, Karen, is it harder today or was it harder yesterday for you? Karen, hello. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you well. Perdón, no la escuché bien. I don't listen in teach. Okay, is it harder today or was it harder yesterday? Is it harder to, today than yesterday? Es más, está más caliente ahora que ayer. Is it harder today than yesterday? Está más cálido ahora que ayer. Yes, it's más. Is harder. Yes. It's harder than yesterday. Okay, it is harder than yesterday was. Yeah, a little bit, right? A little bit. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Linda, hello, Linda. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me. What's the best day in the year for you? What's the best day in the year for you? For me, is my is the best day. The best day is, for me. The best for for me is my my birthday. Oh, your birthday! Cool. What do you do on your birthday? Uh, my family. How do you say celebrate? Celebrate. Celebrate my day. Oh, that's great. Nice. Yes. Now let's see. Thank you very much, Linda. Now let's see. Saira. Hello, Saira. Saira. Sorry. Hello, Saira. Oh. Tell me, Saira. What about you? Okay, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. 
Give me just one second, guys. I'm sorry, I guess I lost connection for a second, right? Creo que los perdí por un momento. I was talking to, veamos, I was talking to Zaira. Hello, Zaira. I'm sorry. So, Zaira, tell me, what about you? What's the best day for you in the year? I can't hear you. I'll text. I can't it. hear you. Okay, I'll text the question for you. What's the best day for you in the whole year? Uh can you hear me? Sorry. Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, okay. I just texted the question. What's the best day for you in the whole year? Uh, the best day for me is uh, Christmas. Okay. On December because, in December, sorry, because I socialize with, with my family and so we celebrate together. Okay. And we did a lot. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Well, I've been talking just to girls. Jose Alexander Hernandez. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay. Now tell me. Uh, what's the most delicious food for you? Um, wait. The most delicious food for me is um, chicken. Chicken? Okay. Yeah. How do you like, like your chicken? chicken? Um, como se dice a la plancha. <laughs> oh, man. That's delicious. Well, thank you. Let's see. Okay. Luis Eduardo Mendez. Hi, teacher. What about you? What's your, what do you like better? What do you prefer? Uh, what do you think is more delicious? Uh, soda or coffee? What do you think is more delicious? Soda or coffee, Luis Eduardo? More delicious is coffee. Coffee? Oh, okay. you are one of mine. You are one of mine. Es de los míos. I love <laughs> drinking coffee. Love. Yeah, me too. Me too. I drink a lot of coffee. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Tell me. Hello, teacher. What about you? What do you prefer? What is more delicious for you? Soda or juice? What is the need for you and soda? Soda is more delicious for me. You can say it like this. Puede decirlo de esta manera. You can say, soda is more delicious for me. Good day. Okay. Sorry, the sentence was, soda was more delicious for me, okay? Now, guys, before moving on, 
I need to get the, the second attendance. Okay. Let me get it right now. Vamos a tomarla en este momento. Amanda Yamilet Chicas de Rajo. Yes, teacher. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla Guzmán. Present, teacher. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Present. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen Lisset Santillana de Retana. Present, teacher. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Pido permiso. Para ok. Ese... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was just checking that. Eso revisaba. Muy amable. Ivan Abraham Ramírez Quijano. Present, teacher. Jennifer Tatiana Gutiérrez Ochoa. Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present, teacher. José Alberto Enríquez Guillén. Present. José Alexander Hernández Sorto. Present, teacher. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Karina Alejandra Aquino Marroquín. Carla Lisset Martínez Navarro. Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Katherine Iracema Villalta Gómez. Present. Leticia Aide Flores López. Present. Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez Torres. I'm here. María Xiomara Guevara Ambrosio. Present, teacher. María Dolores García de López. Here, teacher. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Present. Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquilla. Present. Nelson Rodimiro Pineda Rivas. Osmín Vidal Rivera Baños. Present teacher. Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present teacher. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let me check. Very good, very good. Okay, we still have a few minutes left. Todavía nos quedan unos minutitos. So let's see. Teacher, a mí yes. no me mencionó. Sí, Yolanda. Yolanda del Carmen Hernández López. Check Present. Yolanda. <laughs> My bad. Hey, Yolanda teacher. del Carmen Hernández López. Yes, you are right. It's Wendy's fault. Es culpa de Wendy. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So, mm -hmm. Jorge Alberto. teacher okay what do you think is more difficult english or spanish um english is more uh, difficult than spanish come on english is easier than spanish no for me no oh no but believe it it is it is actually it is you know you speak a very difficult language spanish is so big and so complex whereas english is more direct is easier you will see you will see in a few months you will be like ah piece of cake en unos meses van a estar que esto está muy fácil let's see thank you mister wendy paola tell me okay wendy hello how are you hi teacher okay wendy tell me uh, how was your day ¿Cómo estuvo mi día? Yes. Yes. Ok. Um... Ay, no le sé responder ahorita, me acabo de bloquear. 
Okay, it was good, difficult. It was, I don't know, hectic. Do you know what is hectic? Hectic is like oh, very busy, many things to do. <laughs> difficult and working and study. See, a study and. Okay. Oh, so you work and study. Wow. Yeah, that's hard. Yes. That's hard. That's hard. I understand you totally. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. Today we are almost wrapping up the class. Thank you very much, Wendy. A ver, ese día estamos casi cerrando Thank la you. clase. Uh, guys, don't worry. I know that a lot of you, we couldn't like talk. Con muchos de ustedes no pude hablar directamente because of the time we were analyzing, we were reviewing the topic, estábamos repasando el tema. But uh, every time I will try to let like half the class at least for speaking. Voy a tratar de repartir la clase para having conversations, okay? So you can not just learn the, the content, but also apply it. La idea no es solamente que aprendan el contenido, also that we can apply it, que lo apliquemos that we can speak it because I, I know everybody's here because you want to speak English, right? Sé que todos están aquí porque queremos hablarlo. And believe me, we are going to speak it. So don't worry. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, of course. No vaya un poquito tiempo. That's normal. But I need you to, to be confident on yourself. Tengámonos confianza. And please, any question, any doubt, cualquier duda, cualquier pregunta, you can contact me. If you don't want to do it on the group, you can do it directly. Si no pueden hacerlo en el grupo, lo hacen directo. You got my number right there in the group, okay? You send me a text and I will answer. Y yo les contesto. Uh, well, guys, thank you very much. It was a very interesting class. Muchas gracias a todos por estar acá. Muy interesante. You, See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Know, tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you and welcome, teacher. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye.